Alright guys, what is up? Today we're going to be doing something that I have been waiting for so long to do, and that is replacing the carpets in this car. Now, if you can't see, get back over here. It's absolutely disgusting back here. That side has who knows what right there. And it is just absolutely disgusting from the past 32-ish years of kind of sitting outside and collecting dust and everything. So we're going to go ahead and replace these carpets. That's going to be pretty straightforward. Basically all we're going to do is we're going to take out these seats. Um, we might remove a bit of the center console, maybe a little bit of these floorboards right here where it connects. Um, and then we should be able to pull up the old stuff and then I have a new package. Um, it is all original, same everything, um, but is from motorsportauto.com and it is a direct replacement. And then we'll spray some adhesive down so it doesn't move or anything and stick it back in. And it should be pretty straightforward, but I've never done this before so we'll see how it goes. Alright, we're going to go ahead and get started by removing, uh, we'll start with some of these trim pieces along the edge here. And one quick thing to mention, guys, is you probably want to undo your negative battery cable just because we're going to have the doors open, the hatch open, um, and we don't want the battery to get run out on all these lights that it's going to turn on. Um, so I would go ahead and just undo it. I already have mine undone because it's been sitting for a little bit because I'm still working on it. Um, but also, we're going to be unplugging some of the electrical connectors, and it's just a good idea when you're unplugging electrical stuff to keep it off. Um, that way, nothing shorts out, possibly. Alright, so as you can see, I've gone ahead and removed this trim piece here, and as you can see, it has these little, like, uh, kind of tabs that go over the edge, um, the frame right here. So that's why we're going to go ahead and need to undo this so we can pull these up and over. Um, I'm not sure if it has it under here. I might have to pull off this panel. I'm going to try just, like, tugging on it first, um, but it might have it. It probably does, so we might have to remove this, but I'm just going to hold on that for now because I don't want to have to remove this entire thing up there. Um, but next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the seats, and these are a 14 millimeter bolt. We've got two in the front and two in the back. You just slide it forward and backwards uh, to get where you need to go. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright guys, so I've gone ahead and undone this one. Um, and one thing I wanted to point out, this one right here is actually, it's not, so the rest of these were bolts, right? And they went down to the top. This one was actually a nut and it has a, like a little peg coming out through the middle. I don't know if that's stock, I think it is, because both sides have it. I don't imagine anybody would just put one in on one side for some reason. Um, but both sides do have it, so that one is going to be a peg. So it has going to have a nut with the lock washer on the end. Um, so that's pretty much all you need to know. Now that this is loose, you can see it's coming up, and it is absolutely disgusting all around over here. Um, the only thing left for us to do is get the electrical connection underneath, unplug it, um, and then we can pull this seat out. Uh, and then once that's done, we can go ahead and move to the other side. And then depending on if you have a 2 plus 2 or not, um, I'm going to move my back seats. They're really easy. It just like pulls straight up. It's like got little two snap things in it. Um, but other than that, we should be ready to go ahead and start pulling out the carpet from the inside. Alright guys, so it was that one simple connection right here, um, and the chair is out, and as you can see, the previous owner was an absolute fan of spilling their drink or something. It is absolutely disgusting, but on the bright side, it looks like I've got 35 cents there, another penny right there, so that just made the cost of this car come down a little bit more. So that's a good plus side. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to vacuum most of this side out, and we're going to do that other side as well, um, and then we should be able to start pulling this stuff out. Alright guys, so as you can see I've gotten all of the seats out. I took out the back seats. If you don't have a 2 plus 2, you won't have those there. Um, but I believe you do have a piece of trim or something. Um, so as you can see I've gotten everything out and I'm ready to start taking this carpet out. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention is back along mine right here. You can see that little hole right there in the center of the screen. Um, that's where a clip used to be. I've taken, there were five along the back here. And I actually broke four of them. But as you can see, this is what they're supposed to look like right there. So just kind of like those little I don't know, like little push pin kind of things. But I broke four of them, these guys. So what I would do is I would just go to like a Pet Boys or a AutoZone. They're going to have a whole bunch of these in assortment pack if you want. Um, just get some new ones. I'm not going to use that old one because it'll just snap next time I try to take it off or whatever. Um, but I think what I am going to do now is I'm going to see if I can finesse it kind of like out of the crack right here since I really don't want to have to take this entire piece off. Um, but I believe up over there, especially by like the ECU, I'm going to have to take that piece off right there because I believe it is stuck up underneath there. And then we can start working it out from under here as well. Um, and then up along, you can see over here, it's going to it's kind of tucked underneath. We're going to have to work that out. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take over that ECU piece off um, and then see. If not, um, I might not have to take this off if that one just looks like it'll pull right out. But we'll go ahead and see. Alright, so I took off that piece over there by the ECU, and it looks like we should be able to pull it out from this side if it's the same as that side. But there is, right there, 
little clip that holds it in and that should be the only thing keeping it forward. Um, so that should be one of the things we're going to be able to take off on both sides. And then we should be able to start pulling it up this side. It looks loose. Um, I don't ha I don't know about this yet. As soon as I start taking it off, I'll start to get to know that. I'm going to go ahead and give this a vacuum real quick and then I'm going to start pulling it out. Alright guys, one thing to note is there's this little box underneath the passenger side uh, seat and I believe it's responsible for like controlling the radio or something, it's like an amp. Um, but you do need to get this out and in order to do that you have to take out these two little rivets, these two little black guys right here, um, from those two little spots right there. Then you pull this cover off and then it unclips right there. And the reason we need to do that is because it connects to this connector right here and we can't get this connector and the box through this tiny little slot unless we wanted to cut it open which I suppose you could but then you'd have to do it again for when you put the new one in so I just went ahead unclipped it right there um, so we can go ahead and pull it out um, and now I'm gonna go ahead and start taking the carpet out alright guys as you can see I got the carpet out um, some notable things are up at the front where the uh, front of the brackets uh, bolt in for the seats. Uh, there's a little Phillips head that holds the brackets to this metal piece right here. Um, so there's one here, one there, and then one on the other side for each. Um, so it's just four more Phillips heads. They're just those little black guys right there. Take those out. That's good. Uh, second thing I had to do, I had to take off this kick panel right here because there was a Phillips head that went in through the uh, seat right there, or through the carpet. Pulled that out. I went ahead and just kind of massaged it down through here. I did have to take out the center console to do that. There's three bolts on the inside of your console right there, and then you take off this face plate, and there's one more right there. And it's a good way to clean everything because it's pretty dirty. Um, but that should be mostly it. I didn't have any problem getting it through right here. Uh, I just kind of pulled it straight down. There is this carpet that came with the original stuff, and the new stuff has carpet. It's not quite this thick, um, but this is the only piece that really stuck. All the rest of it, as you can see, came off. Um, so I might leave this, I might take it off, it just kind of depends. Um, but there we go, that's all the carpet that we need to get off. Now we can go ahead and start cleaning this up a little bit before we put the new stuff in. And I almost forgot, but the one thing that was holding it over, over here was actually the bottom of the seat belt. So it actually goes into this bolt hole right here, and that holds in the carpet as well. Um, but you can just go ahead and undo that, it really wasn't hurt at all, it was a 16 millimeter. Um, comes right out, it has a couple washers with it, so make sure to grab those. Um, and then there's one on both sides, and then it comes out perfectly. Alright guys, so I'm going ahead and putting in the new carpet right now. And like I said, this is the one I got from Motorsport Auto. Um, I believe it's the ZStore.com. Um, and this one, if you can't tell, it's sectional. So it comes in different pieces. So there's a piece for the front, piece for the back, piece for the front, piece for the back. And there's actually more for the back seats here. Um, and the back cargo area, I haven't gotten to those yet. Um, but... One thing I'm noticing is I'm going to be have to be cutting like holes for all these mounts. Like so, there's a mount there. I'm going to have to cut a hole right here, um, holes back here. So this is kind of it's going to be a little bit more difficult than if you get a single piece that was already like pre-cut and everything. Um, just like the old one that came out from the original factory, that was all one piece. It just came out and had everything cut in it already. Um, if you can't tell, come over here. This side doesn't seem to fit quite as well as that side does. That one's pretty close to the edge um, when, it, when it comes up. But this one, I'm going to have to cut like a lot of fabric off the edge of this in order to get it to fit properly. And I don't really like that. It doesn't look like it was cut perfectly. I don't understand what they did with it. So this is probably not a good kit to do unless you're heavy into doing stuff yourself. I'm going to have to do it because I have it. I'm not going to spend the time returning and everything. Um, but if you want, I've heard that you can get eBay kits. I don't know if those are better quality or something, um, or how expensive they are. They're probably cheaper, if anything. But this one is from the ZStore.com, um, and it is the sectional. I don't know if they offer a full one. Uh, when I did get this one, I had to wait, I think, a, week, a month and a half or so in order to get it, just because, uh, it was out of stock. Um, but seeing it now, I definitely would have gone for a full piece. So if you can find one, I would do that. Um, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start putting this in. It does come with a spray adhesive, um, so we can start sticking it down so it won't come up and move. Um, so that's going to be something good. Um, but you can see this one has like a border on some pieces, and then some pieces it doesn't. It's really weird. But we're going to go ahead and continue with this one, because I want to get this done today if I can, tomorrow at the latest. Um, and we'll see how it turns out. 
All right, guys, well, here's pretty much the final finished version. Um, it took me, I'd say, about four or five hours in total, just because I've never done this before. Um, so if you have a little bit more experience, you might be able to get it down a bit quicker. But as you can see, it looks quite nice. Um, one thing I will say is I had to put a bunch of uh, padding in here from the old, uh, the old carpet that I pulled out of here. Um, and if you can, I'd say get your own, get, like new stuff, but I didn't want to wait to have to order anything. Um, so just kind of pulled off the old stuff and it kind of made it a bit lumpy because there's a bigger pad here than there is here. Um, so if you can get like something that has a nice single pad on it, all one height, and then fill in extras wherever you need because the floor pan isn't actually uh, perfectly flat. Um, and that might make it a little bit better. But overall it came out pretty well. Um, I definitely, you know, won't be able to tell much of a difference when I'm driving it. As you can see, I don't actually have the center console back in quite yet. I still have this part. And you can see right there where the two pieces come together. Now that's one of the things about this piece, about this uh, kit that I got, is it is sectional. Um, so it kind of misses, misses up in some parts. Let me see if I can show you. All right, so back here behind the driver's seat, I had to cut, because I had to cut this all myself. You can see I actually made uh, this too short here. And so it doesn't quite stick in under the trim panel, so I had to put another piece underneath it. Um, so that's not cool. Um, but again, this was my first time, so. And then this piece back here, I haven't actually stuck it down into anything yet, so it's kind of just stuffed underneath the seats. You can see it's kind of falling out over there. Um, and I can just stuff that back on, back in. It did come with those clips originally, um, and I did not... Uh, I bought some new ones, but they weren't big enough. They were too small, so I have to get some others. This other side actually has a few other spots that I want to talk about. They can be fixed fairly easy. Something like this right here. See if you can see. So this is where the uh, seat belt bolts into the bottom here. And it's actually pulling the carpet and making a little ridge right here. It's harder to see on, on the camera at least. But it's making like a little bump up. And so I don't really like it that much. Again, with the padding, it kind of made it a little bit different as well. And then when I was bolting this down, it pulled down this section. Um, this is all avoidable if you just cut it differently. So if I wanted to unbolt this and slit, make a little slice this way, um, that way the carpet could shift, um, it would definitely be a little bit better. But then again, I don't really care all too much. I just didn't want that nasty old carpet in here. Um, so this, you can see, it'll just fold back underneath there for the time being at least. And then another thing I want to talk about, since mine is the 2 plus 2, it does have this back piece to it. So this was something that was absolutely disgusting in the old one. Uh, it was completely just falling apart. So this one is actually fairly nice. I like it. Um, except I just pulled on this right now and pulled the border off. Uh, the border on this is very weak. I am not very happy about that. Uh, it seems to just fall apart whenever you pull it. Um, and then you can see, so these seats, there's kind of like this metal bar that holds them on. And then they also have a few little... I like those little buttons that go into there. Uh, and those ones, you have to cut all holes for these, which is really hard because it's not pre-cut. You don't know where to cut. Um, so you kind of are just guessing. And as you can see right here, I've made it just a little bit too short. About another inch slide down the back of that. Uh, would have made it just perfect to come back all the way over here. And then also, say hi to your dog. This little slot right here I had to cut in, and it looks absolutely hideous because I don't have a border or anything, um, so that it can latch into the back seats right there. Uh, you can see I have that one up, and it does create that weird like little pocket right here. You can see right there, it makes that weird little thing when it's up, and I don't really know. Part of it is the piece of foam that I have underneath here that kind of broke off, um, but you know, it just doesn't really look that good. So I don't know, I might try to fix that a little bit. And then this, because it is shifted forward, doesn't fit quite right. Also, my jack isn't original, so. But it doesn't quite fit 100% perfectly. Um, but other than that, I think it came out nicely. You know, it's gonna do the job. <laughs> um, I mean, nobody always looks too carefully at this. And nobody's really, I'm not gonna take this for a, uh, you know, for a competition or anything. If I was, I'd have it professionally redone. Uh, but the one thing I will say about this specific carpet set, when you're cutting it, it makes so many of these little, like, tufts that just come off. And I think I've probably vacuumed this thing, like, five times now, and it still has more, like, little pieces to just get all over. And it's really obnoxious and annoying. Uh, so that's kind of my experience with this, guys. If you have any questions about what I did, how I got things done, go and drop them down below. Um, as always, I hope this helped you. 
Um, and if you have a carpet set that you think is better than this one from Motorsport Auto, um, go ahead and drop it down below as well and I will put it in the description for others. That way they can check it out and uh, kind of feel it out themselves if they want to do this kind of sectional piece or if you found like a single all-in-one just kind of slap it in you're done. Um, that might be a little bit better as well even if you have to pay a bit more. Um, so there you go guys. I hope this helped and I will see you later.